Hi class, welcome to Advantage. I'm Matt Fisher and I'm your accounting instructor. Over the next several lectures, we will be discussing adjusting journal entries. At the end of the accounting period, before we prepare the financial statements, we need to ensure that the accounts have the correct balances. Some accounts might need adjusting. Here are the typical accounts that might need adjusting. Prepaid expenses, unearned revenues, accrued expenses, and accrued revenues. The first adjustment that we will be reviewing is prepaid expense. A prepaid expense is when we purchase something that will, that will be used over time. We initially will record this as an asset, and over time we will expense a portion of this asset as it is used up. A good example of a prepaid expense is insurance. An insurance policy is typically purchased for a six month to a one year time frame. When we purchase the policy, we will record it as an asset. Let's take a look at how this is done. Let's assume that we are purchasing a $1,200 insurance policy on our building. The policy will begin on November 1st. You can see in this journal entry that we debit prepaid insurance $1,200. Prepaid insurance is an asset. We own this insurance policy, and it will be good for the next 12 months. Our credit in the journal entry is to either cash or accounts payable. We would credit cash if we actually paid for the policy now, or we will credit accounts payable if we haven't paid for it yet. Let's assume that it's the end of, the, it's end of November. We have now used up one month's worth of our insurance policy. What does that mean? You will recall that we have the insurance policy in an account called prepaid insurance. It is an asset and it has a balance of $1,200. But is our policy really worth $1,200 still? Hopefully you've noticed that it should be reduced in value by $100. We've used up one twelfth of our policy. Now, we need to adjust the account at the end of November to reflect its true balance. We do this by preparing an adjusting journal entry. We debit insurance expense $100. We credit the prepaid insurance $100 to show we have used up one month's worth of the insurance policy. This credit to prepaid insurance is reducing the overall $1,200 debit balance in the account. So now our prepaid insurance has a balance of $1,100, which means we have 11 more months of coverage. Let's take a look at the prepaid insurance account using a T account. You can see our original entry was $1,200. And then on the right hand side of the T account is the $100 adjustment that we just recorded. The ending balance is then $1,100. The $100 adjusting journal entry that we prepared at the end of November would be prepared at the end of each month. We would record that $100 journal entry 12 times until the prepaid insurance is used up. Let's quickly review a prepaid expense is an asset. As the asset is used up, we will reduce the asset and recognize the expense. For our next lecture, we'll be looking at depreciation. Depreciation is also a prepaid expense. We will explain this in the next lecture and give examples on how to record depreciation. We do this differently than we did here in this lecture. Well class, I hope this lecture has helped you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the next video as well.